In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the AC condenser in this GMC Yukon. It's located in front of the radiator under the hood. Let's get into it. Before you dive into this job, you wanna make sure you bring the vehicle to a local garage to have the AC refrigerant removed from the system. We're gonna loosen up this worm clamp right here using an eight millimeter socket. At the throttle body, we're gonna loosen up this worm clamp, same eight millimeter socket. Now we're gonna pop these hoses off, just push on the bottom, there's a release, slide that off. You're gonna do the same on the other side. This side, it's on the top, you just push it down, slide it off. Now just grab the snorkel, rock it a little bit, slide it off the throttle body. Slide the tube off the air box and it slides right out. Pop the connector off right here. There's a little lock tab. Slide that up, push down on the tab, slide that off. There is a retainer that's attached to the air box. You want to pop that up. You can use a trim tool if you need to. Set that aside. Then you want to grab the air box and just pull forcefully up. and it just slides out of the way. There's a couple grommets that just hold it on underneath. Now we're gonna take all these push pins out, just use a trim tool, pop these out. And grab the cover. Clipped in on the front, just pull it straight up, and it slides right off. The top of the radiator, we're going to take these two bolts out, use a 13 millimeter socket. And just grab the radiator and fan assembly. We'll just tip it back. You can lift it up a little bit. You can get it a little bit further back. We're gonna pop this cover off right here. Just get underneath there. It's clipped in. You can just use a straight blade tool. Just pop it out. You can see where it's clipped in on the side right here. I'm just gonna use a pick. Just try to pull up on this, just to separate it right there. Do the same on the other side. That slides off. It's completely separated. Now with it tipped back, you can slide this panel out. And set that aside. There's a transmission cooler line that goes through right here. You want to pop these caps off. I'm just going to use a pick. And they do make special tools to take these fittings off, but you don't necessarily need one. You can always use a pick. Just get underneath. And you want to pull these clips out. Very carefully. Slide that clip out. Save that. There's another one right here. Slide the cap off. I'll take this clip out. Now I'm going to pull the hose off. This 
disconnect it. Just wiggle it back and forth a little. Slide that off. And if you want, just leave that like that or just pop it off right there. Slide that out of the way. And on the driver's side, we're going to do the same. Take this transmission cooler line off. Pop the cover back. Slide it up and get underneath it with the pick. And the clip comes right up. I'll just grab the hose and slide it up. Might have to wiggle it a little. If you need to, you can use a pry bar. Just be careful, you don't want to break the radiator or the hose. Just work it back and forth a little. Pry it out. Just set that aside. That's good. Right next to the lower radiator hose is where the hoses for the condenser attach. You're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. Take that nut off right in the center. Loosening up the nut. Before I take the nut off, I just wanna pull the hoses back a little bit. And there's no refrigerant in there, so there's no noise. Sometimes there may be a vacuum on there. Pull that nut off. And pull the hoses out. Slide it off. And there's the other hose. Set those aside. Now down below where the hoses go into the condenser, there's a bracket and we need to remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. We'll take that out. Just gonna use a magnet so I don't drop it. Here we go. Slide that bolt out. Now on both sides, we have these clips at the top just want to push these in and then pull up on the condenser. Do that on both sides. And that's disconnected. It's loose. Now just reaching down where the bracket is that goes onto the pipes. You want to slide that bracket off. The bracket is what's in my way right now. This bracket right here that's in the way, I'm just going to slide it to the outside. So just grab it, rotate it, and pop it out. So you rotate it like this. The line's right here and the line's right there. Rotate it down and then pop it off the line and it comes right out. And you just gotta tip it forward. And it slides right out. Now we're gonna take these air deflectors off the old one. There is one that goes on the bottom, but that one popped off when we were taking it out. So if yours is on there, you just wanna pop that off. There's a couple clips. We'll just slide this off, just like that. The other side will do the same, slides right off. I'll just clean this one up. And we'll transfer it to the new one. And just slide this on. And same on the other side. And just clip it on. And if you have the bottom piece, you want to attach the bottom piece as well. 
I'm gonna take this cover off right here. Just use a 13 millimeter socket to take this bolt out. It's just a vacuum. Take that off and we'll put the stud in right in the center there. And snug that down. Before you put the condenser back in the vehicle, you need to add the oil. You want to drain the oil out of the old condenser. Whatever comes out that is over one ounce, you're going to have to add that much more plus one ounce of oil specific to your vehicle. So check your owner's manual and make sure you add the proper oil to this. There is different types of oil for different types of AC systems. Now slide it in, same way it came out. Just tip it down. There we go, slide it in place. And get everything lined up. That looks good. Then clip it down. That shield underneath, you want to try to get that clipped in. I'm going to clip this bracket onto the lower hoses. I just need to slide this in first to the bottom hose and then just rotate it, clip it into the top hose. It's just easier to do it while it's in the vehicle like this. Get that lined up. We'll get that bolt put in and take that bolt, get that started. Now yeah, tighten that down. That's good. Take the seals off right there. And you want to replace these, put new seals on. Take the new seal, slide that on. You do the same on the smaller one. Now we're going to slide these hoses in place. You want to slip the smaller one on first because the larger one's going to clamp onto that one. Slide it underneath. the nut, get the nut started. And you want to torque that down to 16 foot pounds. There's not much room in there, do the best you can. Now I'm going to put these hoses on. I'm going to take the clip and we'll slide that in just like this. Lock that in place. Right there. Now the new condenser has new clips in it, so we don't have to worry about that. Take these little plugs out. Slide this in right here. Lock that down. Put that little cover on. Get this lined up. And lock it in up top. Now slide this in. Lock it in, push that down, and get this into that bracket right there. That's good. Then we'll do the same on the other side. Pull that plug out and lock it down. And slide the cover over. not pushed in all the way, this cover won't go on. Just 
make sure it's pushed in all the way. There we go. And we're gonna slide this cover on. Slip it in at an angle first. And just line it up. Same way it came off. And clip it in the sides. And slide this forward. Take the two upper radiator bolts, get those lined up and started. If you have to, you might have to adjust the radiator. There we go. Good, and tighten those down. Now put this cover on, line it up. Flip it down in the front, take the push pins, and push those in. Now take the air box and we're going to just slide it in place. lined up just push it down it'll lock in place take the connector push that on and lock it down now slide the snorkel in place over the throttle body over the air box Tighten those down, tighten down the worm clamps. And push the hoses on, lock it down. Do that to both sides. After you've done this job, you want to go back to that shop and have the refrigerant reinstalled in the vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.